Hi Sagittarius, this is your forecast for the month of October 2016. This is a general reading for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, or Sagittarius Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com provided on the link at the upper corner. If you have visited the site before, please clear your browser's cache for the schedule button to function properly. So normally, Sagittarius, I say my thank yous at the end of the reading, but this month I want to start with thank you because I have received such great support and a rise in subscriptions. So please know that this is mutual love that we are sharing and I will make every effort to give you my personal best. So Sagittarius, this first week of October, you are feeling anxious about something. There's something that you're worried about. Maybe you're stressed out or maybe you feel guilt about something. Uh, some of you may be depressed and prone to some crying spells. Uh, some of you are having issues with sleep. You can't sleep. You're chronically, uh, you're an, an insomniac. You're, you're not able to rest. Uh, some of you are experiencing some sorrow. Maybe there's a loss. Uh, but many of you, there is something going on in your mind that's keeping you up at night. There's something that uh, some idea or thought or you're going over events over and over and over in your head and uh, you can't get your mind to rest. Now this is probably because there's something that you want very badly and you have envisioned the way you would like it to play out, whether that's a situation or a relationship or something that you're involved in. And because this thing is so uh, important to you, uh, it's it's become a challenge and it's making it difficult for you to face a reality or see the truth of something. Some of your fears may be unfounded, but whatever this is, this constantly going over it in your mind, this preoccupation with it, is taking a toll on you physically. Now some of you, be, because you are so caught up in this situation, uh, you're not allowing yourself to see other possibilities. You're so, you're holding so staunchly to, you know, your idea of how things should be that it's blocking you from looking at other possibilities. Now, maybe this is because your pride is getting in the way or because you're way too emotional about a situation to see it clearly or because just on principle, you don't want to take another path, but there are other options available to you. Now, some of you are feeling a sense of anxiety and worry because you're worried about other people and you're trying to overstep your boundaries uh, by getting involved with other people's life situations, maybe fighting their battles or make, trying to make their decisions, trying to overmanage the life of another person. But this is a week where you really need to step back and know that you have to allow other people freedom of choice. Uh, every person has the right to make their own decisions, even if that's different than what you think, even if it doesn't necessarily please you. Uh, that's what life is all about. So again, the longer that you... Uh, are attached to, to the outcome you have pictured rather than opening yourself up to other alternatives, the longer you're going to remain in this state of anxiety. So part of this could be something that, you know, 
you're almost seduced by you you you're so attracted to it that you just can't let go of the idea of it some of this could be this anxiety about bringing your ideas to life there's maybe there's something you very much want to accomplish and you're worried about how to do that others of you are worried because you want to attract that thing that you that you desire whether that is a relationship or a person a situation uh, you're worried about influencing other people again may you know trying to make their decisions for them or some of you are worried because you're under some illusion and there are some steps that you need to take uh, so this is a week where if you are so caught up you know in uh, trying to get what it is that you want or who you want regardless of the ramifications the consequences and and what that means this is becoming an unhealthy preoccupation for you now the second week you have the two of pentacles this is a number two card falling in the number two place so this card is especially significant so for some of you you know you have anxiety because and now you're weighing your options you're considering you know the best course of action that's important for you that's best for you that relates to your security in some way whether that is financially or emotionally some of you you know this emotional anxiety and doubt you're experiencing some emotional ups and downs because of it sometimes you feel like you're okay and then other times you've hit bottom uh, some of you are worried because your finances you have spread yourself too thin and you're juggling your finances you may be having to take from one area of your budget to pay something else uh, some of you are worried and stressed out because you've got a variety of obligations that you're trying to attend to and so you're juggling multiple obligations and maybe you're spread too thin physically you're trying to skillful, skillfully manipulate your duties and responsibilities. Some of you are worried and anxious because this is a week where you feel as if you need to make some kind of decision. Uh, but again, there's a need for you to be flexible. This is also a gift. Uh, it can be a card about a gift. So maybe some of you will be receiving a gift. Some of you are anxious because there's been some kind of change uh, change has taken place maybe you changed your job your environment has changed in some way uh, and maybe you're feeling overwhelmed maybe you feel a sense of instability uh, or restlessness uh, so and maybe there's something you're feeling now if this card is operating negatively uh, you know again you may be looking at your finances maybe you spent on something unwisely or you mishandled them or maybe you're worried because you're not putting forth the effort that you know that you need to make with regard to something uh, maybe you've taken on too much and you feel overwhelmed because of it uh, you may even be involved with another person who is holding out on you in some way whether that's financially or emotionally so this is a week where many of you will have a lot of responsibilities that you will have to juggle and so you will have to multitask and put your energies in a lot of different directions now this could be a week where you know you get some unexpected good luck and this could be you know romantic or financial or legal so this could pop up out of nowhere uh, when you least expect it others of you will find that because you have so much you you are able to you know manipulate your situation you you're you're able to prioritize get things in order deal with everything that's on your agenda this could be a week where it's really good to sit down and look over the budget uh, make some changes uh, with an eye to the future you'll be focusing on the long-range benefits now others of you maybe you are ill and you're experiencing some ups and downs with regard to that illness but some of you because something is eating away at you 
you are experiencing maybe some psychosomatic illness it could be you know real illness but it's likely that this is as a strategic means of whether conscious or not avoiding situations or people that you don't want to deal with so this is a week for you to get real because if you are in any way unrealistic the results could be that you feel irritable depressed or is as if you're on an emotional seesaw now some of you maybe you're worried maybe you're thinking of traveling and you know you are considering your options maybe with regard to your, your itinerary or your finances or your schedule some of you may be starting a journey of some sort or you know this the a journey of the mind or you're trying to reach some new horizon some of you are weighing your options about how to be free perhaps or some of you are wanting to run away because of your responsibilities or whatever the situation is now the third week you have the chariot card this is a major card the second half of the month of October is significant for you in some way so the chariot card perhaps some of you are dealing with some significant cancer person in your life but by and large this is a card of uh, strong purpose and will so you could be dealing with people or you could carry those traits yourself of being very focused on your goals your decisions your destiny now you may be involved in some type of conflict this week perhaps you are trying to reconcile two opposing forces maybe you have people that are challenging you or that are opposite ends of your viewpoint and maybe you're trying to reconcile that some of you are trying to gain self mastery especially if you've been having difficulty holding it together in the past uh, you know over the course of the month you may be grappling with the light and shadow parts of yourself and trying to gain mastery over over your emotions your anger or your impulses some of you are very focused on your ambitions you are seeking some type of success you're taking the initiative you're asserting yourself you're determined and you you want to win you want to triumph over some challenge or obstacle there's a strong focus on self-control self-purpose uh, and possible conflict of interest now some of you this card simply means there are transportation issues uh, maybe you are having to uh, buy a new car or maybe you're dealing with car maintenance uh, may, you know whatever it is this is also a warning about driving too fast or too recklessly uh, because you may very well get a ticket this week uh, so this is a card about again mastery and reaching a destination and so the way you feel what you're putting out there your energy that you're projecting out into the world your viewpoints these are all having a very powerful impact on your environment and the people in it and probably more so than you are even aware of this is a week where in some cases you will need to step up and take the lead you will need to be the leader take the initiative and move forward in other cases you know given the appropriateness of it it may be necessary for you to fall back in line and let other people take the lead so you will play both roles in various situations this week uh, and it's strongly emphasized that travel or communication could be important and because of it either one of those two you may be changing your schedule in some way uh, you may be changing your financial strategy you may be making changes at work or in your personal life because of those things uh, and if you're relocating or traveling there's likely to be something unusual connected to it something romantic or where you're seeking adventure 
or some intrigue, but there's something unusual connected to it. This is a week where you're going to focus on greater efficiency. If you felt anxiety and overwhelmed and you were juggling your multiple obligations or your finances, this is a week where you're going to take the initiative and try to uh, organize in such a way where it, you feel a greater sense of efficiency. And any changes that you make or any change, whether they're because of you or, or circumstances, these are likely to bring more opportunity than than any cost. So uh, you're going to have to really be single-minded in your focus. You're going to have to totally concentrate in order to make some kind of advancement. And your patience is going to be tested as well. For some of you, you will be experiencing some delays that get on your nerves. There could be some misunderstandings, miscommunication. Some of you are going to have, again, issues with your car. Maybe there's a breakdown or something that needs to be taken care of. Some of you, if you were ill, now is the week where those medical situations create some kind of issue for you. Now... This is a card connected to your emotions and feeling very emotional. So some of you may be, again, so vested in a person, a situation, that you feel this is all there is. If I don't have this, life has no meaning. Uh, so in that, if that is the case, obviously your sense of self-worth, your sense of confidence is being directed in the wrong arena. Uh, so this is a week where either due to circumstances that are beyond your control or because you made an error in judgment in some way, uh, situations may not proceed as smoothly or as quickly as you were anticipating. And this is a card about your relationships also. So some of, some of your relationships are going to enter some new kind of phase, whatever that is, that's going to change your perspective, open your mind, uh, uh, expand you in some way, uh, bring you to some new reality, especially if you are focused and paying close attention. Now, uh, for some of you, maybe this has to do with the past. Maybe it has to do with uh, some past ancestry. Or some of you, you know, maybe you're not sleeping at night. Maybe you're getting some messages from your spirit guides. Some of you are mourning something or someone. Something is passing, a situation. And you are having to gain control over the situation or your emotions because of it. Now, the fourth week, you have the star. And so some of you may be dealing with young women in your life or your girlfriend or uh, this could be somebody that you're dealing with who gives some type of assistance or advice. Or if you were ill, this could be a week where you deal with healing agencies, uh, doctor clinics, uh, medical institutions, uh, possibly insurance, I don't know, anything connected to healing. Uh, and some of you, this is a week where you are feeling like you want to be comforted or you, you're seeking comfort or relief or you feel a sense of renewal. Maybe things have uh, evolved and you feel a greater sense of peace. Uh, maybe your health has renewed this week. Maybe there have been some improvements. Uh, some of you are seeking some knowledge, higher education or expanding your knowledge, or you are working on some kind of special talent or skill that you have. Some of you are trying to make your plans for the future, uh, and there's a faith in that future. Some of you are getting um, some truths. You're trying to pull the veil back on some truths. You're trying to solve some kind of mystery, something that thus far has been beyond your grasp to understand. Uh, and so you could receive some kind of illumination this week. Uh, but there is a focus on uh, 
faith and you are being protected. There is spiritual protection for you this week. The universe is shining on you. You are being guided by the stars. Some of you are in the spotlight. You've overcome some challenge and you, you are a star this week. Uh, but whatever is going on, your faith is very important. Your belief in a higher power, your belief in self, and depending on how strong that is, it's, that is what you're going to draw on to refresh yourself and rejuvenate your life. And if things have gone wrong up until this point, that faith and hope is going to carry the day for you. Uh, because you feel this transition taking place, something is welling up inside of you. You are on the brink of something important and transformational. You also have a very strong intuition this week and a very strong connection to others. So this is going to be a week where it's easy for you to tap into your higher self and allow your intuition to guide you. Uh, and to realize that if you're facing something that has thus far been disturbing, overwhelming, unsettling, and you've had to deal with some truths and confront some realities, the universe is saying this is an opportunity. This is your moment. This could be a period of great personal or mutual achievement this week. So you are being challenged to keep a positive mindset and believe that every situation, no matter how difficult, there is within it a positive lesson. There's the essence of it is meant to serve you for your higher good. Now, what's key is coming to terms with discernment, your ability to grasp which situations are merely challenges for you to work through and overcome and become better on the other side of it, or situations where these are actually no-win, unhealthy uh, encounters where you are putting your energy into something where there's not going to be a return. The quicker you learn the difference between those two scenarios, the smoother things are going to flow for you. This is a week where you need to be careful. You, you may be feeling very vulnerable, very open, very exposed, in which case there could be an overabundance of emotion that is driving your decisions and you may be misinterpreting that as your intuition. So this is a week where you're going to be challenged on your faith in yourself, your faith in other people, your faith in your belief system. Uh, that is all going to come up for challenge this week. And if you open yourself up to new possibilities, and remember, in the beginning of the month, you were probably having trouble doing that. But if you open up to new possibilities, that faith in the future is going to be rewarded. Although it may play out in a totally different way than what you have envisioned. So uh, this could be a, a week that you could gain your power back in some way and harness that personal power and take what you have, your resources, in order to manifest your plans and your dreams by taking the, the role of a leader. Some of you are coming to terms with that you need to take charge of a situation. Now the underlying energy is the Seven of Swords. So a lot of your anxiety and doubt may have been driven by situations that involve some kind of theft or insincerity or feeling as if you've been taken advantage of, if, as if you've been uh, ripped off or, or cheated in some way. Some of you may feel as if you've just been experiencing a lot of bad luck. There could be issues where if you were in a relationship, maybe there, you know, maybe there's some unfaithfulness or infidelity. Uh, some of you are involved in situations that are futile. You've been investing too much time and energy into something that's going nowhere. Some of you are trying to escape 
a situation or maybe somebody's avoiding you or being evasive uh, so you, you may be dealing with people that are you know keeping their distance or keeping you at arm's length or they're doing things that are unexpected uh, some of you are simply you know this is card about going back and forth maybe you do have a lot of obligations responsibilities and you you're constantly on the move there are a lot of errands some of you are actually moving from one place to another and, and a lot of responsibilities connected to that some of you are having to come up with some strategies you need to outwit someone in some kind of way so you're meeting life's challenges by using your strategic skills Whatever is going on for you this month, at some point, you, uh, other people, you're going to come under the microscope where your, where ethics, um, integrity, motivation, uh, forthrightness, those were, will all be questioned on some level. And maybe you've been... Um, maybe you've been believing things you shouldn't maybe you were quick to believe something things that you heard uh, and, and those things weren't exactly true somewhere along the way you miscalculated you you put too much faith in something or you didn't put enough faith in something this is also a month where you need to be careful about what you're putting out there be careful about what you're saying to other people uh, because you know you may you may do something you know or try to cut some corner or uh, try to make a move that actually ends up backfiring uh, it may be difficult for you to resist you know sort of embellishing the truth or exaggerating but those th that behavior could actually cost you in some way uh, now, the fortunate thing about this card is that if you are involved in situations that don't have anything to do with you, that waste your time, that are pointless, this is going to be a month where you can diplomatically find the exit. You just remove yourself from situations that don't have anything to do with you. And surprisingly, in some situations, people are going to come clean that you didn't expect to. Some people are just going to flat out tell you the truth. They're not going to lie. And people that have, you know, maybe they've broken promises in the past, this is a month where they're actually going to fulfill those promises. Uh, if you've had to reschedule several times with a person, this could be a month where they actually show up. They actually keep that appointment. Some of you, now this can be a card about secret love affairs. Some of you are going to be matching two people together or you're going to find yourself being matched by someone. And it's going to turn out better than you expected. You're actually going to, you're actually going to hit it off with this person. Uh, some of you, you're going to be able to uh, get a grip on your responsibilities, your duties. You're going to be able to prioritize, put things in order, and you're going to realize in the end, you weren't behind after all. You made it. You, you met deadline. Uh, now, some of you, depending on if you, again, if you're just totally vested in uh, getting that love from a person or you, you want to be what they want you to be or or you value their opinion way too highly uh, you're dependent on what they think about you and you, you you're dependent on the love that they give to you in such a way that's unhealthy this is going to be a very draining month for you that eats away at your individuality and keeps you from effectively standing up for yourself so Regardless of what happens, this card is a warning card. It says, be careful about your possessions, your health, and your safety. So make sure, you know, that you keep up with your transactions, your credit cards, your bank statements, what you do on the internet. Be careful of what you say, what information you put out there. People could be stealing your ideas. Uh, they may, and it may be insidious. It could be as simple as trying to pick your brain and having you do the mental work rather than them do the legwork for something they want to achieve. So, um... Uh, 
you know attend to your health if you have if you have health issues that you know you need to address or medication that you know that you should be taking or things you shouldn't be eating or behaviors that you shouldn't be participating in please abstain from that uh, do not put yourself in risky situations uh, you know traveling to dangerous areas of town uh, when you shouldn't at hours that you shouldn't um, just be careful this month uh, again th this is some kind of transformation that's taking place and there's opportunity within situations for change for following your dreams for embracing some new self identity and for others of you the realization that there is a need for change so situations will be characterized by uh, you looking at your relationships and how you are handling other people and how you are allowing yourself to be handled whether those exchanges are constructive or they're self-defeating and you'll also be looking at opportunities and situations that have the possibility of changing your life uh, about you know anything that is that you're connected to that is valuable to you or any situation that you're connected to that has an impact on your future some of you will be realizing that lo and behold a situation has already changed all right Sagittarius I hope you enjoyed this reading and I would greatly appreciate your subscriptions your likes and kind comments for those of you who have already offered your support Again, please know that I'm grateful and committed to you. Have a wonderful October, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.